guys the phenomenal AJ Styles and you're watching Bretto Live. What is up guys, Brett Alive back with another video and today we are going to be jumping in to the Wrestlemania 39, the Wrestlemania Hollywood WWE Elite Series. In this video we're going to be taking a look at everybody out of the set, including the Build-A-Figure. We got the Macho Man, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, and Dusty Rhodes, and the Build-A-Figure is Mean Gene Okerlund. We picked all these figures up from Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Feel free to use discount code LIVE at checkout to save 10% on these. It's an amazing set of figures, especially that Hollywood Hogan. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get these out of the box. We're going to be taking a closer look at the packaging, then we're going to get each and every one of them out of the packaging to take a closer look at the head skin, everything about the figure, the accessories, everything. So let's get to it right now. The American Dream Dusty Rhodes in WWE Elite figure form. I feel like it's been a while since we've gotten a Dusty Rhodes. I believe the last Dusty Rhodes was in WWE Elite Series 63. I could be wrong on that, but it's been a while. I know that for sure. I love that shirt he's coming with. He's got the nice, good old yellow and black polka dot attire. It looks amazing. He does come with the torso of Mean Gene Oakland, so this is definitely a must if you're trying to build Mean Gene Oakland. There is a picture of Dusty Rhodes on the side, on the front. Amazing looking packaging with the WrestleMania Hollywood logo at the top with the Truvex head scan technology logo as well. There's some info on the back. If you guys are interested, feel free to pause the video to read. And then, of course, other people in the series. We do have The Rock, Hulk Hogan, and The Macho Man. Stay tuned. We're reviewing everybody out of this set in this video. Here is Dusty Rhodes right here sporting a brand new head scan. And I think it's okay. Um, I don't think they completely missed the ball when it comes to making it look like Dusty Rhodes. Of course, they did go with the facial expression, which sometimes it is a risk going with a facial expression because sometimes you could botch the head scan, which uh, I don't think it's completely botched, but I do think it's not all there. I don't think it, like, it met the finish line completely. But I do think it generally looks like Dusty Rhodes. I like the open mouth, the eyes. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's not bad. I like the hair. I think the hair really resembles Dusty Rhodes, how it was. He's got a nice big old torso right here with the birthmark on on the torso right there looking really nice. He's got one black elbow pad on his right arm that does have the yellow polka dots right there. And then he's sporting some yellow wrist tape. Yellow on a wrestling figure looks so good. Moving down, he does have the, the black trunks sporting the polka dots continuing. I love these polka dots, by the way. They fit this figure so nice. I hope they make a Seth Rollins with the polka dots. I think that would be so cool. He also has got more yellow here on the knee pads. He's got the white tape under the knee pads, which look really good. And then these boots look so sick. Nice, like, white, yellow, good old-fashioned cowboy boots right at the bottom. And the one thing I love about this Dusty Rhodes, he is coming with a cloth t-shirt, which I'm going to put on the figure right now. But the cool thing is, I I think you should be able to use this shirt with a Seth Rollins figure because, of course, when he was trying to play mind games at Cody Rhodes, he uh, wore a very similar attire looking to this that Dusty Rhodes used to wear, and he had a shirt that looked a lot like that. So I bet you could use that for a Seth Rollins figure, but there it is on Dusty Rhodes, and it fits great, it looks great, and I love this figure, dude. Very cool. Next, jumping into the Macho King, Randy Savage. We got the Macho Man, Randy Savage right here in the Wrestlemania 39 pack. This looks so cool. I love Macho Man figures. Keep them coming, Mattel. He's worn so many different gears, and they're coming at us with another fresh-looking Macho King gear right here. He's coming with the crown, the staff. It looks amazing. The glasses. Mean Gene Oakland head. So you gotta get this figure to complete Mean Gene Oakland. You gotta get all the figures to complete Mean Gene Oakland. It's absolutely crazy, dude. So there is the packaging. You can see a picture of the Macho Man right there. Wearing some entrance gear. Would have been pretty cool to see that with a figure. Not gonna lie, but it's still it looks really good. Moving to the back, there's a picture of the Macho Man looking awesome. Like I said, look at this entrance piece. Could you imagine getting that in the box, making it cloth? It would be so freaking dope. Uh, still amazing looking figure, but it would have been pretty cool to see that. There's the other people in the series once again. Accessory-wise for the Macho Man, we are seeing the staff right here. We have seen this staff before in the ringside exclusive, and then I also believe we've seen another figure, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. But I know we've seen the staff before. It's got the little purple ball at the end. Other, the rest of the staff is just gold, which I think is very nice. And we also are seeing these really cool-looking glasses. You see the nice little silver studs between the black lines. They fit on the figure great. I'll make sure to show it. And then we also do have the crown. It says Macho, of course, for Macho King on this 
nice crown. I love the little purple gem in the front that looks so clean. Very nice looking crown. I do like that. And then of course we are seeing the interchangeable hands as well. Here is the Macho Man looking absolutely stunning. Sporting a head scan we've seen before. They've been repainting this head scan. A lot to use for Macho Man figures recently. I'm totally fine with it. I think it looks just like the Macho Man. I like the hair mold. I like the smile. It looks just like him. I like it a lot. Beard, hair, like I said, going all the way around to the back. Very nice. He is sporting this really, really flexible torso. Nice and tight. Very nice. And then, of course, moving to the wrist gauntlets. It's a very unique type of wrist gauntlet. It's like some nice yellow stripes with the little purple there and then more purple over here. It's a very nice attire. Very unique attire as well. So if you move down, you get a bunch of different colors right here. Like it looks some maroon right there, some pink, blue. Main color is yellow. It's beautiful, man. Look at all the different colors to this. So unique, so awesome. And then moving down to the white boots, it's got the yellow laces and the yellow soles. Very unique Macho Man figure. I would have liked to have seen entrance gear with it, but I do like how we're seeing the crown and the glasses, which I am going to demonstrate how to do right now. You just slide the little... um lenses right over the eyes and then you got to pop the crown on the crown is a little snug fit but it still fits just give it a little wiggle room give it some time and then make it look good man there's the macho man or the macho king i should say very, very cool. I like that a lot. That's awesome, dude. Next, we are going to jump into the WrestleMania 18 Rock figure. Yes, this figure is based off of WrestleMania 18 when he went up against Hulk Hogan in one of the most electrifying matches of all time. I've watched it about twice now, and it is absolutely amazing. The other figure out of the set that we still have to review is the Hulk Hogan based off of Mania 18 as well. So if you get both the Rock and Hulk Hogan, you could literally recreate that match super, super accurately. Here's a look at the Rock inside the packaging. Looking amazing. Sporting a brand new head skin. Looks awesome. There he is in the front, Mean Gene Oakland. He is coming with the legs. Another must to complete Mean Gene Oakland. There's a look at the back. If you guys are interested, feel free to pause the video to read. And then the other people in the series, once again. The Rock is coming with no accessories besides fisted interchangeable hands as well as open interchangeable hands, which I'm really excited about. But he doesn't really need any accessories because this figure kicks so much butt, dude. Look at this head scan. Oh my gosh. That is not the real man. That is an action figure. This thing looks absolutely insane. It looks just like The Rock. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely awesome. It looks just like he did when he fought Hogan that night at Mania 18. Oh my god, what a match. Um, the hair, I love it. The facial expression, I love it. Like, you could literally, this is such a versatile exp facial expression. Like, turn his head like this. Turn his head like that. Just, oh my gosh, I love this head scan. That's one of the best rock head skins. They've done some good rock head skins too. That is some good stuff. Holy cow. He's got the classic rock torso for the elites. He's got the Brahma Bowl tattoo on the right arm, which looks really good. I wish he still had it there. He covered it up with that new one, but it's a freaking legendary tattoo right there. He's got the black elbow pants, double jointed uh, elbows, obviously. Moving down to the trunks, he does have the Rock logo right here in gold. Very similar to what we've seen in the past, but it is changed a little bit with the font. It's pretty cool. And of course, there is the Brahma Bowl logo on the back looking so legendary. So cool. I hope he beats Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, dude. WrestleMania 39. I hope the Rock dethrones Roman. He's got the black knee pads at the bottom. And then, of course, he does have the classic Rock boots. You can always tell they're the Rock boots because they're open in the back. That's always how Rock does it. And if you guys are wondering if you still get articulation on these, full 360, even though the um, boot looks like you wouldn't be able to do it you could still get articulation from that an absolutely amazing figure it's basic but it's the rock like this is the rock like they nailed this figure like whoa jumping into the last figure we're gonna be taking a look at in this video we do have the hulk hollywood hulk hogan i should say we got hulk hogan baby when he fought the rock which is right here at wrestlemania 18 one of the most electrifying matches one of the most electrifying crowds of all time wow 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 I'm so hyped about this. We have gotten an Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan in the past, but we've never seen an Elite Hulk Hogan, dude. It was supposed to be Defining Moments so long ago. Then we got the Ultimate Edition. Now we're getting the Elite figure right here, and I'm so hyped right now, dude. Here is a look at him in the packaging. So freaking amazing, the way that they displayed all the accessories in there. Even the Mee Gene Oakland parts down there with the arms and the interchangeable hands. There's a look at the front. Hogan looking awesome. Certified Authentic True Effects. That's getting technology. Here's a look at the back. Him entering at WrestleMania 18. Looking dope. It's crap. And then the other people in the set, once again, without ado, let's get to it and crack Hulk Hogan right out of the packaging. Jumping to the accessories for the Hollywood Hulk Hogan action figure. They're coming with a ton! Look at this! Starting over here, we have the Hollywood weight belt. In the Ultimate Edition, it said NWO on the weight belt. So I'm glad they are changing it up. 
We're seeing the Hollywood font right there, white weight belt. They have not adjusted to where we have the belt in the front. It is still the clips. It doesn't bother me too much, but I know for certain people it does bother them. So they haven't updated that, but uh, it still looks great in my opinion. I do like the look of it. The boa, man, here it is. It's sort of a double boa, similar to the one that we saw with the ketchup and mustard um, Hulk Hogan recently. Same, same mold, same mold, just black and white. Obviously, you can move these, but it is one piece. You could make it two, but you would be breaking it. Cut fisted interchangeable hands as well as the open hands, which is pretty cool. He is coming with this rubber NWO shirt, which I'm very shocked. Um, this is like the one that we saw with the original Rings exclusive uh, Hulk and the original Defining Moments Hulk. Like, we haven't seen this mold in a fat minute, but I do like it. It reminds me of the Childhood Man NWO, New World Order right on the front, and you got the holes in the back. It's very cool. I do like it, man. I would have preferred cloth, but it is it's classic bro that's classic a uh, little uh, bandana right here it does say hollywood on it fits the figure really well in tandem with the black lens glasses with the white rims very cool here is the hulk hogan action figure based off of wrestlemania 18 here he is sporting this very nice looking head skin i do prefer the ones that came with the ultimate edition but this head skin is still not too shabby at all he's got the bleached mustache with the regular colored beard looking really nice hair's going all the way around to the back with a big bald spot on the top torso choice i still am not the biggest fan they chose this for the most recent hulk elite and now they're doing it again here and i still think this is the wrong torso choice for hulk hogan dude like look back at this match and just you, you can't tell me this is the right torso it's way too lean and this is not hulk hogan dude he does have the double jointed elbows with the white wrist tape which looks really nice and then we also do have the black tights with some nice white and blue lightning bolts on the side that's some hollywood hulk hogan stuff right there on the back it does say hollywood the same lightning bolts are on this side with some black knee pads and then these boots the detail doesn't stop look at these boots you can see a picture of the hulkster right there with more of these blue lightning bolts and and the boots are white, nothing like white boots. And then, of course, you have to have more flames on the inside or lightning bolts, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, it looks freaking sick. Let's stick them out with these accessories, guys, shall we? And then here, of course, is Hulk Hogan with all the accessories on, looking absolutely epic. I'll give you guys a little 360 here. I think they all fit amazing. Uh, like I said, I wish the shirt was cloth, but I have plenty of cloth NWO shirts, so it doesn't bother me too much. But for somebody who doesn't have NWO shirts, that could be bothersome. Um, but it is still... An amazing looking figure. If you did pick up the Ultimate Edition, this might not be a must for you, uh, but for me it is. I need an elite version of the Hollywood figure, and this thing is outstanding. I love the look of it with all the accessories on. Wow. Hats off to Mattel for this. Crazy good. Did you guys forget? We still have one more figure to get to. Mean Gene Oakland, the builder figure. If you pick up every single figure out of the set, you could put them together and have a Mean Gene Oakland figure. So without ado, let's get to it and put them together. Well, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. Here's the Mean Gene WrestleMania 39 build a figure. This thing is awesome. I know there's been a build a figure in the past of Mean Gene, and there's also been a flashback Walmart exclusive Elite, but this is my first Mean Gene Oakland figure. Can you believe it? This is my first Mean Gene, dude. And this figure is sick, bro. Legendary interviewer backstage sporting this insane head scan they nailed it obviously he's no longer with us r.i.p so for them to nail this head scan how they did is absolutely awesome like mattel you guys are freaking legendary for this looks absolutely amazing as far as the suited attire He's got the red bow tie right there and he's also got the little handkerchief thing hanging out of his front pocket white undershirt with the black jacket Double jointed elbows, which I'm so glad they got to with the suited figure. He is also coming with the vintage WWF microphone, which looks really good. And then we also are seeing open hands for the figure, so he could be like, oh, and this and this is up next, like explaining things. He also does have the black pants with a ton of articulation on these bad boys with the black dress shoes. 
Solid, solid series, guys. Amazing series. But yes, guys, that has been the review on the brand new WrestleMania Hollywood WrestleMania 39 Elite Series. Available now at Ringside Collectibles WrestlingFigures.com. Feel free to use discount code LIVE at checkout to save 10%. That's L I V E all caps. It'll save you 10% on this entire series. It's an absolutely amazing set of figures. Literally, the build a figure, every single figure out of the set is absolutely awesome. I really like all these figures. Feel free, once again, to pick them up from Ringside Collectibles if you guys are interested. And especially, this video subscribe to the channel see you guys next time but alive out